Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. The customer's complaint was that their truck has no power and the check engine light is on. The technician removed the air filter and found it to be very plugged with pounds of dirt inside. Not only was the air filter very dirty, but the technician found the DPF to be completely clogged as well. Yeah, I think we got a little bit of crankcase pressure. Let's see if it blows it off. <laughs> this customer came in to get an alignment after he got new spindles installed. The technician noticed that the subframe was pretty rusted in one spot and was later told by the customer that he had his nephew install these parts and he didn't mention anything about the subframe or the C-clamps on the exhaust. The shop built a new transmission for this customer and the customer installed it himself, but says it doesn't work. They found that the customer never installed the torque converter bolts and it was also low on transmission fluid. And this customer came in because their check engine light is on after they installed new spark plugs. When the customer reinstalled the intake manifold after installing the spark plugs, he just used cardboard and electrical tape as a gasket. This customer got his vehicle towed to the dealership as he thinks there's a problem with the ECU. He said he just cleaned his truck and afterwards he couldn't control the accelerator. This car originally came in as a customer said they can hear noises underneath their car. The shop was pretty surprised to see a cat and a dog stuck underneath. They never saw the cat again but safely removed the dog and was brought back to the owners. Customer states they just got a new ball joint installed at another shop and now have a clunking noise. The technician working on this vehicle was surprised to see this once he removed the center console on this car. He said his boss told the customer that they refuse to do anything else on this car until it gets cleaned out. Customer states their vehicle won't start and sounds like an RC car while cranking. This vehicle originally came in to get new tires installed, but the mechanic also noticed this. The day before, the customer was told they needed new ball joints, but they declined repairs. And here's an update on this clip I showed in a previous video about the deer that jumped in the back of a customer's truck. This is not all the damage that was done, but the customer's insurance company thinks there's around $8,000 worth of damage that was done to the truck. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like and subscribing. You can also submit your clips at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.